My name is Tammy Holcomb, and I will be the Blair High School principal for the upcoming school year. I'm absolutely thrilled to be serving in this role and have enjoyed getting to know the Blair community and staff over the past couple of months. The purpose of this video is to provide some highlights of the Blair High School reopening plan. The goal of the reopening plan is to put in place preventive safety measures for both students and teachers as they return to school. There are four fundamental safety components of this plan that will be required and essential to getting teachers and students back into school and keeping them in school as long as possible. First, face masks will be required at all times that a staff member or student is in the school building. The mask controls the amount of aerosol in which COVID travels from being exhaled from the body and into the air. Two masks will be provided for each student on the first day of school. Second, social distancing will be encouraged as much as possible in both structured and unstructured area. An example of a structured area is a classroom. A couple of examples of unstructured areas are before and after school, hallways, and lunch. Third, hand hygiene. Frequent hand washing and hand sanitizing will also prevent COVID from being transferred from the hand to the mouth and nose area. The face mask is also a physical barrier that can prevent direct hand to mouth and nose contact. Finally, temperature screening. Students will be limited to four doors in which they can enter the building. The four entrances are the band hallway door, the south entrance of the atrium, the bus or south entrance, and the west entrance. A temperature screener will be located at each of the four locations. Students who have a temperature of 100.4 or greater will be rescreened, and if the temperature remains elevated, will be asked to go home. Students that are asked to go home will be required to be fever free for 24 hours before being allowed to return, return to school. Students can access their classrooms via Zoom if sent home for a fever. Parents are encouraged to screen their children at home. Students will not be allowed into the high school until 7.50 a.m. unless required to do so for a group or a class. No breakfast or coffee bar will be served or available prior to the start of the school day. Second chance breakfast will be served and eaten in the AEP classrooms. Students and their parents have been given three options for the learning environment in which they will begin the school year. An in-person option in which students and teachers are in the same classroom for instruction at the same time is one option. A remote synchronous learning option is also available. In this option, students access the classroom from home while the teacher delivers instruction from the classroom at the same time. It is important to understand with this option, students are required to follow their normal schedule and access remote learning via Zoom during that scheduled block. This is a big change from the spring remote learning plan. Students will not be counted in attendance if not on the Zoom at the scheduled time. This learning option will require a student to attend school from 8.10 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. remotely from their home. Other expectations of the remote synchronous learning option are that a student will be required to access the classroom using both the audio and video components of Zoom so that the teacher and students can interact with them. Students will also be asked to put away their cell phones during the class period, the same as they would if they were in the classroom. Students will need to be up and dressed appropriately for interaction with the classroom. Students choosing this remote synchronous option will be eligible for participation in extracurricular activities. The third learning option is a virtual learning option. This asynchronous option will allow students to access an independent study set of coursework. Students choosing this option will not be eligible for participation in extracurricular activities. This is not a recommended option for students in grades 9 or 10 because the Acellas program is not aligned to the Nebraska state standards and the correlation to coursework prepping for the ACT is not good. If a family is choosing either the remote synchronous or virtual learning options and have not signed up, please do so through the district webpage at Blair Schools. Org. Some frequently asked questions. How can I see what work my child has? 
all instructional materials will be found in Google Classroom. You can ask your child to open their Google Classroom account and show you the lesson plan for each of their classes. The lesson plan will outline objectives, activities, assignments, due dates, and sometimes assessments. What do I do if my child has internet access issues? Please call the school and we can work together to problem solve the issue. Will students be graded? Yes, this is another big difference from the spring remote learning plan. Students will be graded for work assigned. For students that choose the remote learning option via Zoom, assessments will be taken at school on Friday or Saturday mornings, depending on the class. How, how will lunch work in this socially distanced environment? Students will still have a 30 minute lunch period. The number of lump lunch options will be reduced to one and will be a prepared option that minimizes contact with serving utensils. Students will be asked to eat and then socially distance in a larger area for the remainder of the lunch period. What about water fountains? Students will be asked to bring their own water bottles because the water fountains will be covered to limit the number of services that can be touched by a large number of students. The high school does have water bottle fillers that students can refill with. Will students be allowed to use their lockers? Students will be allowed to use their lockers. Students will be masked during the passing periods and due to the short amount of time that they would be at their locker, this is not considered a high risk contact or exposure area. Locker rooms will be used and teachers and coaches will monitor the number of students in the locker room at one time to promote social distancing and minimize risk potential. Will there be a freshman orientation? No. All of the information shared at the freshman orientation will be reviewed with students on their first day of class. As a reminder, freshman students will go to school for the morning only on Wednesday, August 19th from 8.10 a.m. to 12.08 p.m. and will eat lunch prior to being dismissed. Students in grades 10 through 12 will go to school in the afternoon of August 19th from 12.25 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. There will be no lunch for this group of students. These are just a few of the important components of the Blair High School Reopening Plan. If you have any questions about any of the information shared with you in this video or any other aspect of the reopening, please feel free to contact me at school Monday through Friday between the hours of 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Thank you and go Bears! The following video is an example of how students will enter Blair High School. Please notice the wearing of masks, the use of the hand sanitizing station, and the temperature screening. 